And hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What am I doing here? I'm talking about this banner. Didn't I already do this? Yes, I already did do this. <laughs> Why am I doing this again? The answer is very simple, is that I promised in the other video that if there was any specific changes to the banner, I would do a quick update and let you know. And that's what I'm doing, so that's today's video. Hope you like it. There we go. So, the summon the farewell to the Kamakura pickup summon had, was changed. In the JP version of the game, this was all one big banner. And for us, it will be featured as a pickup servants and pickup in three different pickup summons. Um, so that means, according to this, as you can see here, we start here on Friday. And we have Ushiwakamaru and uh, Yoshitsune on Friday. And then on Saturday, it's all three of them. And it's all three of them throughout the entirety of the days. And there you go. So now if you want to, now you don't have to worry about getting your pity reset. If you're someone who's w w specifically summoning for pity's sake. And to let you know about that. If you don't know what's the update with that, well let me tell you real quick. Um, so basically the GSSR, which not a lot of people can do. It's about 1% of people. Yeah, but on the NA side, there are people who specifically save up for one unit. Um... You have to summon around 330 times, which averages around to 30 multis, and the reason is is that you get a free summon afterwards, and that one's counted. So every multi is actually 11 pulls, and that's why it's 330, but okay. Uh, so yeah, after that you get the limited SSR, and then that's good, and then you can't get it anymore. The, the problem is, is though, is that there, there's, there's multiple limited time pickup summons available at once the number of summons no wait yeah so for each pickup summon for each page of the summon screen in addition summons will be counted individually for each summon period that the pickup lineup changes for a daily pickup chain something for a daily pickup summon i think that just means that all three of these pities are separate from each other i think if any of the following conditions are fulfilled, the message the guaranteed summon has ended for this pickup will be displayed on the summon screen as a guaranteed summon function you will be disabled for that summon. You summon the 5 pickup servant with 329 summons, the guaranteed one comes out at 330th. Summoning using paid quartz and are all included in the summon counts. If you fill the conditions of guaranteed summon functions when you perform the 11th summon, one copy of the pickup SSR is guaranteed to be summoned that goes effective separately from the 4 SSR rates and the four, 3 SR rates. And 11 summons. The summon count will not be carried over to other summons when the limit time pickup summon ends. That's the thing that's important here. And story summons and friend point summons are not eligible for guaranteed summon function. The basic thing here is uh, if you're going for <laughs> Yoshitsune, if at any point there was a change in the banner, such as there's a new four star on solo rate up, or there's something else, I think it changes the pity that's always been my understanding of it um i don't play jp but that's the way it always sounded to me so that mean so that meant that they just stopped doing solo rate ups for fours and they stopped doing that basically um and that's something they started doing in the future now on na because we got pity early they had to start doing some preventative measures in the beginning obviously yoshitsune was constantly changing with Maeve and uh, Kualter over here but they can't do that over here because now that screws with pity and so things are changing so there you go three separate banners so if you only care to pick up one of these dudes if you only want your queen or you only want Yoshitsune or you only want Kualter then you don't have to worry about having to need a specific day to get one of them they're going to be available on every single day and you should be able to be perfectly fine. So there you go. I promise I did a follow-up. This is the only thing I wasn't sure of going in. So just to be sure, I wanted to make sure if anyone knows. It'd be really funny if there were people who specifically did not know Fago. This is literally on the Fago news. So you can check there. It'd be really funny if there were people who were like, I don't actually check Fago news. They go to me. Which if you're one of those 1% of the people, what are you doing? Read, <laughs> Read what it says here. It's very helpful. To understand the game but i appreciate you regardless so yeah best of luck i think we're gonna be i'm gonna be doing a summon video for yoshitsune but i'm not 100 percent sure uh, i don't know i really do like ushi and yeah not not for mave and ku alter though someone was a thankfully there was a lot of ku alter fans and there was one ku alter prototype fan uh, two of the two of the Ku Alter fans were saying you've heavily underestimated him. He's actually extremely good. He's a strong berserker. If he had just a, a 
he's super survivable, which is what's good about him. And yeah, in general, very good. So I learned that. And then there was one dude who was just like, cool alter overrated, cool prototype. He's underrated. So there you go. Feel free to take that with that knowledge. <laughs> Varying opinions. I did not know the opinions of cool alter were so strong, but they are. And yeah, nothing has changed about Maeve or Yoshitsune. No one had anything to say about Maeve. She just is what she is, and no one really had anything to say about Yoshitsune other than I want to summon for Yoshitsune, but also I'm saving, and uh, I feel terrible. But there you go. Good luck to you guys for your summoning. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.